Hello and welcome to this edition of Now You Know Why, the number one podcast in the whole wide world. I'm Damon, sitting in again once again for Cheryl. She is out again. This time she's out on business though. And I think I may have to hit her up for a raise when she gets back. You know, all this sitting in on the podcast. I don't know. Other <laughs> duties as assigned, I guess. <laughs> sitting here with me is Alan Hall. He is our Deputy Director of Community Development. Yes, I am. Welcome, sir. Thank you. How are you today? Great, great. Great to be here. Thank Good. you. Good. So community development. Well, before we even get into community development, um, let's talk a little bit about who you are and how you got to where you are. Sure, sure. I, um, my name is Alan Hall, and I've been with the city about a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a licensed architect. I got my national certificate. I'm licensed in three states, Michigan, Arizona, Ohio. Um, I've done a lot of architectural projects as a principal architect on many projects. Um, done everything from public buildings to private buildings to you name it. A lot of churches huh. across the country, the um, restaurants and things of that nature. Tropical smoothies is a lot of my stuff. And really? Uh, different like that, yeah. So wow. uh, it's always in, interesting. Here in Novi, yeah. the Panda Express building, oh. I designed that. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's me over there. Dickie's Barbecue down the way. And, oh. Um, I think another one I did was the Pilates is that with the blue okay. lights and things in there. So that's kind of fun. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So that's my architectural training um, or experience anyways. I've also was a, um, a teacher at Lawrence Tech for 22 years. And I taught, I taught um, computer-aided design, 3D animation and modeling, that kind of stuff. So I've had a lot of experience in um, design and projects and huh. building from ground up and turnkey productions. Yeah. Okay. So at Lawrence Tech, you're an a teacher in architecture adjunct professor in architecture well little known secret when i was a young lad a wee young lad i was going to become an architect is that right actually all the way up until i was about 14 15 i actually went to a school high school for engineering professions in houston texas to become an architect is that right yes. see there so i went to i went to lawrence tech so i can use a t-square like nobody's business <laughs> yeah, well, well i learned on a t-square there you go so in fact i was the first student at lawrence tech who presented digitally in the wow. whole school okay yep i was everybody was on boards and t-squares and things and and i had to do it on the computer we didn't have actually we didn't have like real good printers back then so i had to take slides off the computer screen and I presented slides to the professor then. So wow, so that was neat. Well, yeah, yeah, so kind of pioneering that kind of. I stuff. started with Lincoln Logs <laughs> and Legos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about uh, community development. What does your department do in a broad sense? So we we oversee the both the building and the planning divisions. So so anything that's planned in the city, anything that's built in the city, um, from the. Um, you know, design aspects, we cover that, you know, so um, DPW is more on the roads and that kind mm-hmm. of thing. We're Infrastructure. More, we're more buildings, so yeah. we're above the ground kind of things. Um, so um, Barbara Beth is our planner, a city planner, mm-hmm. um, and she heads up the, the planning department. Um, and then we also have our building inspectors who do all the inspections of all the buildings that are in the city. Um, that's all the trades, you know, building, plumbing, mechanical, electrical. Residential and commercial. Residential and commercial, that's correct. Um, and then we also have... Uh, ordinance division um, that safeguards our ordinance so when things are um, not taken care of you know quite you know to our standards or um, there's signs and different things that you had different ordinance questions mm-hmm. um, the ordinance officers helps out with that and then we have a great clerical division that does all the, the nuts and bolts these girls are good and they, they they really know their stuff so yeah and so talking about that you know if anybody needs wants to learn more about our community development department. It's all on our website. That's correct. Go to cityofnovi.org. You click on the services tab and you click on community development. And there, that opens you up into a whole new world of things. It does. <laughs> it does. We have to thank you for that. And we keep it up to date, which a lot of communities yes. don't do that very much. And ours is up to date pretty regularly. Yeah, so. that's a great segue because the developments in progress, uh, development projects in progress. So a lot of times we get questions about what's being built here, what's being built there, et cetera, et cetera, what's happening with that car wash. All of the developments in progress and even prior to are, um, or all of the developments under construction and in progress are on the website. 
That's correct. That's correct. So if you go to the planning spots, they show all the designs that are there. Mm -hmm. um, we have a website that has all the maps of different zoning classifications and stuff like that, too. Um, has the wetlands, the woodlands, the, the floodplains, you know, so all that kind of shows you how to design and what, to design, what your parameters are designing and go from there. Yeah. And then code enforcement is also uh, under your department. It is. Yes. And they, I get a lot of calls. <laughs> yeah, probably on the property maintenance, I would imagine. Yes. And yes. so we, we've broken up the city in sections. Uh -huh. um, there is no order to the sections. It's randomly picked. So for the property uh, maintenance initiative, it that's is currently ongoing. Yes, it's yeah. ongoing. Yeah, and it's, and it's a, it's a five-year turnaround plan. Everybody is going to get a letter. Um, they go through the ordinance, you know, the book, and see what is property maintenance. So that's going to be like things that don't look quite right in the house. Maybe mm -hmm. a, a gutter is dislodged or there might be some pain you needed or maybe the driveway, driveway has a lift and like a tripping hazard or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they drive by, they won't enter the property, they just drive by, look at the homes um, mm -hmm. and then they make a list of things and they talk to the homeowners. Um, mm -hmm. And it's kind of just a, you know, an awareness to say, hey, we're just looking at your city. We wanted to come up to, you know, strengthen our property values, make sure that everybody is on the same game. Um, we've had a lot of success, a lot of success. Um, at, at first, we were kind of thinking, hey, how's this going to work? You know, it's kind of like yeah. Yeah, we're knocking on your door saying, hey, yeah. we want you to fix stuff. Um, most people are very appreciative. In fact, when they start seeing that others, neighbors are doing it, too, then, you know what, I can throw some paint on something or I can fix a gutter. And then they realize that the property values are going up with that. So it's been very, very successful. Yeah, I've talked to Mario about that. He said it's, it's a very well-received program. Yes. And they're good about working with residents to help them fix whatever the minor issues right, may be. Right. And give them time, provide resources. Yeah, so it's a great program. Even our city manager got a letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't tell anyone. He's right. human, too. Right, right, right. <laughs> so what do you love most about your job? I think I like dealing with the people. I, I have, you know, being a professional trainer at Lawrence Tech and a professor in there and dealing with bringing people up to professional levels, um, bringing my department up for professional professional levels and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. We really try to be like a family atmosphere. Mm -hmm. and so we try to build everybody up with support. Um, so there isn't a lot of walls between us. Not even our department, there's no walls physically. Um, right, but there's, there's not a lot of walls <laughs> between people. So people can ask questions. Mm -hmm. um, and I really try to inspire that. So then people feel empowered to, you know, not only answer a question, but ask a question. You're not looked down for not knowing, but you're, you know, not heavily praised because you didn't know either, you know. So it's kind of, yeah. a, you know, let's just get it together and, and really try to serve the people the best we can. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, we just wrote out our new vision and values and, and that teamwork part of our new values yeah. is, is really, you know, it's core for the city and it runs throughout everything that we do. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, it really does. And it really shows up with relationships. Mm -hmm. um, we're not a, a heavy handed city. So even with ordinance, um, we're really trying to help people succeed. Right. You know, so we really we're not out there writing tickets because we're pounding our chest and being that guy. You know, we're we really want to say, hey, this is an issue. You know, it's an issue. You know, so a good example of that is just some of the um, political signs that are showing up now because mm -hmm. they're coming elections. Um, we don't read the signs, so we don't read them. So we don't know who is it for or whatever. But you can't put a sign you know, to a tree. You, know, you can't have a sign in the right of way. Mm -hmm. And so our people come by that's going to take them, you know, and then we'll, we'll store them. Um, so it may look like, hey, you're taking my sign down, but you got to do it for the rules. And there's ordinances and there's rules for that. And you can find that by just contacting the city. We can tell you where to put them. Absolutely. All right. Well, good. Thank you very much. Yeah. See, easy peasy. This is fun. And you yeah. are inspirational uh, for those of you that are watching on on YouTube, not Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, you can see our jackets match. A oh, yes, bit. right. That's right. We got the uh, I think one. we both went to the same JCPenney. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Except mine is like 15 years and 20 pounds ago. I'm surprised it still fits, actually. <laughs> I think if I take the shoulder pads out, it'll probably fit better. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Alan. Thanks for well, dropping thanks for by the me. pod. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Uh, okay. Anything else you want to talk about? No, I, I think that's great. I, I, you do a great job. I well, tell you, it's, you. I do. I, it's, thank uh, you. I I've asked you to do things, and you're not, I mean, right now, you're, you're on it. So. Yeah. <laughs> High praises. High praises. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. And thank you, Josh, behind the scenes. He's, yeah. if you, you can't see it, but he's um, pressing all the buttons, switching cameras, yeah. and making sure our audio stays. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> <He just can't>. <laughs> <laughs> making sure we look good and sound good. So we appreciate Josh. He's, he's, um, a lone eagle back there uh, right. doing his work. So we appreciate Josh as always. Thanks, Josh. So thank you um, again, Alan. And as Cheryl has all of our guests do, you have to say it with me. Okay. 
That's it for this edition of Now, now You, you know, know Vi. Now You Know Vi. <laughs> now You Know Vi. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>